All right, everyone. So today we're going to talk about backing up. Uh, it's something that's kind of overlooked, but it's really important because you know if something bad happens to your computer, it dies, and you lose your pictures and your photos, your music. You're not going to have a really good day. So I'm just going to show you uh, general strategies that have worked for me in the past, and uh, just to make sure that you keep everything safe. All right. So first thing that I do with uh, is if uh, especially with the laptops, especially with the laptops, is that um, you want to you know generally try and get the biggest drive you can get. And for me, what I've done is. Um, I have a 120 gig hard drive and I've showed and you know in my prior videos I've showed you that I've partitioned it into two equal parts I have my OS 10 partition and I call that Tiger and I have something else called storage and storage is where I keep most of my life so um, basically it's not fault tolerant it's not redundant if the spindle crashes, you know, you're still going to lose everything on both partitions. But what this allows me to do is that it, uh, if, say, I install some trialware, some open source software, or something gets involved with, like, something screws up Xcode or something, and, you know, i got to do a reformat, then what I'll do is um, I, have m I keep my data on my storage partition, and I can just go in, do a clean reformat for off my DVDs, and bring back uh, my operating system, no problem. And to show you exactly what I mean, um, so right here in my storage partition. So you'll see that, um, you know, BitTorrent, and so I keep all my TV shows there, like Heroes in my house, you know, you know, other stuff. So all that stuff is there. That's all my data. But where it really gets useful and convenient is in managing my iTunes library. So what I've done here is you see that's my music folder. And do a get info on that and you'll see it comes out to about close to 12 gigabytes. And so basically all I do is if I ever have to reformat OS X, um, all I have to do is like, you know, go into iTunes and when I when you come back from a fresh reinstall all you have to do then to like repopulate your music library is uh, do an Apple O or Command O and then all I do is I just point it is point the file browser to my storage directory come on down and then I just point it back out to my music folder and in less than a minute all my music is like backed up and I'm, I'm back to where I'm at or to where I was you know my podcasts are intact, uh, my music's intact, movies, TV shows I've, you know, purchased, actually. So all that's there. So that's just a really quick and convenient thing to do. Also, another thing that I like to have in my storage partition is uh, I keep a directory of uh, disk images. And, um, you know, it comes in handy. So, you know, when you come back from, like, a fresh reinstall, my disk, my MacBook came with Mac 10.4.6 and instead of having to run software update and go through like you know 40 minutes of downloading software all I have to do is just point to the combo update that I saved on this it's right onto the storage partition right on the same drive you know double click it and you know I can go from 10.4.6 all the way up to like the most recent update and I'm done. And this and this is a pretty big file. I mean, you'll see that this is like 340 megs. So you know, it's it's the time savings. So you know, I mean, it's just good to have like all your all your drivers, all your utilities. You know, it's just a really quick way to make sure that you have all the programs that you use frequently on your computer, and it survives to reformat. You know, in the event that you ever have to do that. So that's just that's just one part of it. Okay? So that's part one of as to how I store my my data. Now of course, I'm not going to uh I'm not just going to rely on like my uh, my laptop's hard drive cuz that would be a little bit foolish. So what I do and and things that like I really like um you know such as 
work and uh, uh, pictures of my music is I make sure I have like multiple redundant copies so in addition to having that storage partition on my on my desktop right there I also make sure I keep copies of like all the really important stuff and I have two separate backups so I have I have it on on one external drive right there and that's basically my main backup drive because that's 250 gigs and it's, it's really been solid for me so that's that's my main backup drive but in addition to that just because it is a hard drive and it's not completely robust I have a second hard drive too so I always make sure that I have at least of the really important stuff that I'll have that I'll try and make sure I have at least three copies of it so I have it one on the storage partition in my MacBook two on like on a you know on my firewire drive right there and three is on another drive and this is a USB 2 drive so I just make sure I, I have at least a triple redundancy on like so that's really really important to me and then also you know these things fill up so what I did is um, CompUSA at least down here in Hawaii they're in Hawaii they're they're actually pretty good I mean all my friends really liked CompUSA in Hawaii so and it sucks because they are going out of business at least for us so anyways what I did is um you know I just got like a really nice 30 pack of uh, TDKs and so this this only cost me 10 bucks and I figure like well you know 10 bucks for 30 yeah it's not it's not the best but I mean it's it's what I need so this comes out to about 141 gigabytes because you get 4.7 gigs you know on a disk so that came out to about 140 gigs and if you think about it it's really what I need because this right here is only a 250 and this right here I mean they're recycled from like a, from an old PC that I once built and this is like a really old like Mac store 40 gigabyte hard drive so you know so I just you know keep this around so I mean between the two I mean a hundred a hundred plus gigs on optical media you know that's enough so anything like anything that's re that remains that's still important to me but that's like pretty static like like you know wedding pictures or like my friend's wedding or just pictures that I have or just old stuff or stuff that I want to keep around you know I'll, I'll burn it out to optical media and I'll make sure I have a copy of that also okay so you know I mean it's it's really I mean it's an important thing I mean you can't say it enough because you know things happen and you know I mean you uh, you know and if you have to like send your laptop into the shop at least in Apple's case they absolutely will not back up your data so uh, you basically sign a paper uh, when when they when they ex when they take in your machine and you sign a waiver of liability stating that you know we're not at fault if you lose your data sorry so you know it's just really good to have so just make sure you know back up your data be good about it because you never know when it when a day might come you know hard drives crash you know so yeah so that's just uh you know brief backup strategy uh you know be good be safe all right that's about it peace